Hi, this is Captain Steve Tarrant, and in this video we'll be looking at how to calculate the uh, available GM to a vessel uh, after we uh, account for free surface moments. So in this problem, uh, we have the SS American Mariner. She's ready to sail with the load shown. So the vessel came in and it loaded up. Uh, um, some, uh, some, some, well, loaded perhaps these things, and also turns out that the vessel, it, uh, in the process of loading, it took on some uh, fuel oil and some salt water. Okay, 18,070 tons at a, a kg of 7.5. Well, it turns out that not all of those tanks were full, and as a result of that, we have some free surface moments, and because we have these free surface moments. Uh, we're going to have to take into account uh, that. Now, uh, in, in reality, you would have calculated this yourself, and you can see that I, have, I posted another video that shows you how to calculate this number. In this problem, though, uh, what, they're, what they're doing is they're giving you the free surface moment created by having some of these tanks slack. And so we're going to have to factor this number in to our solution. So here's how we're going to do this problem. We got to calculate the moments by the <coughs> theory of moments, okay? Uh, which is something we we should be very hopefully we're very familiar with at this point. So uh, then we're going to add to the we're going to calculate the moments by the theory of moments, and then we're going to add this number to step one, and that'll give us the total moments on the vessel, including the effect of the moments of free surface. After we do that, we're going to divide the total moments by the total weights. And that is going to give us are the kg of the vessel. The kg of the vessel um, accounting for the effect of free surface. That's why this O is here. Anytime you see an O pop up, that is an, uh, in a, you know, an international ag agreed upon symbol saying we have taken into account free surface. After we do that, our KGO, well, to get GM, we're going to have to subtract our KGO from KM, which means we'll have to go into our hydrostatic tables and, and get that number. And that will give us our GM with free surface accounted for. All right, let's do this problem. So, very first thing we got to realize is that if we're doing the theory of moments, we have to include the weight of the vessel itself, the light ship, which we would have gotten from doing the, uh, we would have gotten some of that information from the inclining experiment. Okay, the height of that center of gravity. Well, it turns out that for this vessel, if you go into the white pages, you'll see this page. Okay, and this is uh, the principal characteristics of the uh, American Mariner. And it turns out that the light ship is uh, 7,675 tons, and the virtual center of gravity for the light ship is 31.5. Now, if you're in the stability class, uh, NS301, we didn't give you this table uh, on the bottom of your hydrostatic table, we wrote these numbers in. Okay, Captain Slasis did that for you. So you will find this num these two numbers at the bottom of your uh, hydrostatic table, okay, uh, written in by hand. All right, and so anyway, uh, the light ship is 7,675 tons at 31.5 kg. We got that number from the inclining experiment. So now what we need to do is calculate the moments for each one of these things. And when you do that, you get this, okay? Now, normally when you're doing a theory of moments, you would now take the sum of those and you take the sum of these and you do the division and that would give you kg. But we know <clears throat> that we have some free surface in our tanks, okay? We know that because we would have calculated it and we know it from this problem because we're given that the, 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 the tanks that are slack or, or whatever are creating an additional moment due to free surface of, of 17,555. So we have to now take that number and add it to our moments here. And that gives us a total moment of uh, 441,910.9. Okay? Now, that is all the moments in addition, that's all the moments for the cargo and also a moment created by some of that cargo having free surface. Well, we also have to now uh, sum our uh, uh, all of our uh, 
tonnages to get our final uh, uh, tons displacement. Okay, and so we have calculated the ta uh, the moments by theory of moments. We added in the 17,555. Now we're going to divide those total moments by the total weights. So we're going to take this number, divide it by that number, and that is going to give us kgo, okay, which is 28.84. So that kgo represents <clears throat> the uh, kg with the free surface uh, accounted for it. Right, I know that because it's got that O in there. Well, the question was, what is GM? Well, GM O, that is the GM with free surface accounted for it, is going to be KM of the vessel minus KGO, what we just calculated there. Well, where am I going to get KM? I'm going to go to this hydrostatic table. Okay, and by the way, if you're in NS301, it's at the bottom of this table that you'll find these two numbers written in by hand. Okay, so, uh, well, in order to use this table, I'm going to have to enter it with my mean draft. Oh, well, in this case, I'm going to enter it with my displacement. What's the displacement of this vessel? I just calculated it, 15322. So this is 15. Uh, this is 246. OK, so this is 200. So 322, it's going to be right around in here. This number is, this line is just slightly high. And it turns out that that is going to be about 31.2. So KM is going to be somewhere around 31.2. We don't really need to split hairs because you can see that the closest, next closest number is 31.3. It's not really all that critical. Well, GMO is going to equal 31.2, that's the KM, minus KGO, which was 28.4, which means our final GM accounting for free surface will be 2.36 feet. And that is the solution to this problem.